our next partner here, Aloha. So excited to have David here. And we're going to talk about building products, building um, apps, what what the opportunities are, what the uh, the concepts here for when we move into the next year. David, what's going on? How are you today? Doing well, Nick. Happy to uh, happy to be here. Oh, welcome so much, man. So awesome. Um, first of all, where are you chiming in from? So I'm actually uh, I'm chiming in from Colombia. I'm uh, living the digital nomad life, and I bought a one way ticket, and I'm living in Colombia now. I was I was originally from Chicago. Dude, uh, love it. That's that's one of the areas that I haven't hit yet in the world. I mean, actually, there's there's Gotta a lot. Come down. I, um, can't wait. Um, so so excited here. Um, tell us a little bit about the company, and then we're going to talk a little bit about product development, some ideas and thoughts going into this new year. Yeah. So Aloha, we are a platform for outsourcing software development for startups. Um, you kind of think of us as software outsourcing infrastructure as a service. So we got into the space because we ourselves were a young startup looking to expand our dev team. And it was an absolute nightmare trying to access cost efficient and predictable software. Um, and, you know, outsourcing, um, when I say outsourcing, I know Founders Live is a global, uh, a global community. So outsourcing in the sense of uh, many times U.S. companies who are uh, looking to build software outside of the U.S., a lot of uh, instability and it doesn't necessarily have a good reputation. And so uh, we really studied and, and fall in love with the pain points, the problems. How do we create a world where anyone can innovate freely? Um, so our approach, we have vetted through over uh, 15,000 firms around the world. We've qualified just 12 so far to be within our network. So we have a, a trusted network of, of firms that we contract out to um, and then built our own project management tool. So anyone, even on technicals, can manage, interact with their dev team, makes it very simple, easy to communicate, payment platforms, so you don't have to deal with international um, taxes or exchange rates, uh, transaction fees, things like that. And then a strategist, someone from Alloa who's in the States, gets to know you as a business, match you with the right firm, and then we're here to help out if you have any problems, questions to help facilitate that relationship. That's awesome. You know, um, there's a lot of a lot of founders that are watching today, a lot of entrepreneurs, early stage companies, they have an idea, but they don't necessarily have the dev talent to get that product mm -hmm. up and running. You know, what what ideas or what what solutions are there for them? And, you know, obviously being a little more cost, you know, conscious. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. What what is from your standpoint, what are the options if a startup wants to get going? They haven't get that concept, that first version, not not. I mean, kind of a little more than the MVP, not a prototype. Like, let's get that first working product. What are the sure. options out there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good question. So um, we're a really mission-driven company. And, you know, again, our, our mission is to create a world where anyone can innovate freely. We felt these pain points. Um, we were a startup there, and, and we focus on startups. That's kind of, you know, who we have spent our time focusing on. And one of my favorite parts of my job is um, I'll actually first try to do everything I can to – see how can you do what you need to do without using us, right? Do it on your own, um, do it in a more cost efficient way. And so um, the very first thing that I would say is see if there's any no code tools, see if there's any platforms that you can license for a lower cost um, that you can use as that first version, first iteration, and that you can then gather that feedback on. If you don't have to spend money to build out custom dev, don't do it. That's definitely not something that, um, you know, don't just throw money just to throw money. And so there's plenty of tools. There's, you know, bubble.io and, and some other um, no code platforms that are heavily used. And so that's definitely something to look into. But if you get to that point where, you know, you need uh, to you need to go beyond those capabilities, then uh, something that you can do is, you, you know, you can always reach out to us. And that's something that we can always help out with. And um, even if you if, you know, we aren't a good fit, we're kind of obsessed with startups and we're here to help uh, any way we can and, and go through that conversation. And what we'll essentially do is we'll, we'll talk about your product, um, figure out where you're at, what's your business problem. You know, what's, what's the, what's the technology looking to solve? Um, it's not just about building technology. It's about really understanding what's the business problem that you're trying to solve. Give you our thoughts. Think about how should you really be structuring the user story, the flows, what are convenience features, what are instrumental features, what do you actually need for version one? What can you maybe push out to version two? Um, do you need to be launched in four months or do you need to be launched under a certain budget? Let's learn about your different constraints and then we'll give you our recommendation. Um, and, you know, 
whether you go with us or not, it's always our goal just to provide value in any way we can. Yeah. Well, and, and let's just, let's even talk about a, um, let's take a step back. I mean, you know, even, sure. even the, the, I, or we as a team have this idea and look, mm -hmm. I hear it all the time, you know, being the founder of, and the CEO of founders live, I hear it a lot where yep. they have, like, Hey, I got this idea or what it would, there should be an app that does this. What would you suggest they do before they even spend any time, money or effort building a product? What are yep. some good ways to test out or get started figuring out if they actually even should build that product? So I have a, uh, a very straightforward answer here. Um, I highly recommend checking out the book called The Mom Test. It is the absolute gold standard, in my opinion, uh, for customer discovery and actually figuring out, validating your product idea. Um, what it essentially walks through is that when you go and do, you know, conventional manners of customer discovery, you're, you're really priming people. Um, human nature, we don't want to hurt people's feelings. And so we're always going to play to people's egos. And if you go to a friend or go to whoever and say, hey, I have this idea. This is what I'm working on. This is what I do. This is what I'm doing. And you show all this excitement. People are going to be a little bit more sensitive to giving you their honest feedback. Um, what the mom test does is it says the conventional methods of customer discovery and how you ask questions um, are are not the proper way to go about it. You're essentially wasting your questions and you're wasting those, those resources. And what the mom test says is you can ask questions in a certain way where you can ask it to your mom and even she's going to give you um, her honest feedback, even, you know, even though she's your mom. Um, and so that's, that's where you got to start. Don't sink money into something that you haven't built that validation for. That's one of the biggest mistakes that startups make is that they think that they have this product market fit. Um, before they've actually really identified what the true fit is. And oftentimes it's, you know, it's just one little feature that is really what people are really drawn into and everything else is just kind of flash and lights um, that help that help emphasize that. And so you really have to hone in, figure out is what you're building something that people actually need? Is it actually solving a problem? Um, and if that answer is yes, after going through the mom test, if that answer is still yes, then let's take those next steps and thinking about, okay, how do we build this product out in the most cost efficient manner? Yeah. <laughs> love, love the mom test. Um, yep. I may or may not have failed that one uh, in, in my, <laughs> my past. Um, and she may or may, may be watching and laughing at this point, but um, it's a really, really good thought process of paring it down and really getting to that. The whole point is what's the value proposition. And secondly, the problem solution set, and, you know, it should not take a rocket scientist to fully understand even the problem solution. And then, you know, that falls into what's the value proposition? Why should I use this? Why should I buy it? Right. So exactly. um, I like that. Um, awesome. Well, um, you know, real quick here and we don't have too much time. So um, kind of last thoughts here is as we go into 2022, um, geez, we're already talking about New Year and this thing flew by. Um, you know, as we come out of the pandemic, what, what do you see right now that, that excites you or that are some movements in the market that are worth talking about? Just, I don't know what, what's on yeah. the top of your mind. I really love the, uh, the no code community that that's really popping up and, and getting a lot stronger. Um, no code development is a tool. It's an asset. It's something that can help strengthen your development. It's something that can help free up your core developers time. So your core developers don't have to be working on those more minute tasks. They can be working on more of the, the complicated components that you can't really solve with no code. Um, and so it's a really, really strong asset. And if you know how to use it properly, you can really use it to your advantage to slim down um, your costs and slim down the time and effort. And you can even use it for that initial iteration of, of product, right? So you great, you validated your idea. Now you use these no code tools to build out that first version. So now you've only spent a thousand or a few thousand or even a hundred dollars to build out that initial um, product MVP to iterate on uh, before you have to be sinking, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, whatever it is to, to build out the actual, you know, full version one. Um, look into no code, definitely use it to your advantage. Um, it doesn't solve everything. It, you know, you, you still need custom software for certain components. No code does have 
you know, different limitations you're in there. Um, but use it as, as much as you can. It's, it's such an asset and you can use it to your advantage. And it just kind of, it's a startup's best friend. Um, if you ever any questions, you know, we at Aloe, we're always happy to chat again. Um, for us, it's, it's, it's not really about, you know, if you, if you schedule time with us, it's not about having to, to move forward in any way. We just love providing value. We love talking shop um, and happy to uh, help the, the founders live community at the, to the best of our ability. Uh, thank you so much. And we really, really appreciate your partnership. We appreciate what you do for the community and for all entrepreneurs that are, are you know, engaging with you and what you build. And also, you know, you've, if, you know, you've built a network of uh, developers and, and partners as well. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I think I, I love your, your company's angle of how you're navigating the world and bringing in talent. So love it, man. Appreciate it very much. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, have Absolutely. a good rest of your evening. Thanks.